Hey there, Crisis Crew. This is um, Nissan Mills. Sorry there hasn't been uh, much uploads in this past two weeks. Um, nobody's really uploaded. Don't know why. I haven't. I can admit I haven't. But um, uh, we've been requested to do a review on an iBook G4. So that's what I'm going to do today. This is it starting up. When you power it on, it comes up as this here. Uh, I, I don't personally like it, but I'm going to go through all the features with you guys. Um, well, not all of them, because obviously I can't get through all of that. But I'm going to show you some of the main features of it. So this is the um, loading screen. If I click on me. That was just a friend there. Down there. Um, so here we have the main menu. So you can see that there's uh, my background, my amazing background, the Samuel's hard drive. Uh, it's got like a little dock, but we're not really interested in that. We're interested about the features and the specs. So first of all, I'm going to put on the specs. If I click about this Mac, the specs are really bad. It can't go up anymore from Mac OS X 10.5.8. Because it's outdated, really crap. Uh, the processor 1.2 gigahertz power PC G4. It's got 512 meg of RAM. So let's go into the system profiler right here, and the hardware, the model name iBook G4, model identifier, PowerBook 6.5, processor name Power PC G4 1.1, processor speed 1.2 gigahertz, number of CPUs one. L2 cache per CPU 512 kilobytes, memory 512 megabytes, bus speed um, 133 megahertz, boot ROM version. You don't really need to know any of that. So that that's basically the main stuff um, that you really need to know. Um, it, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, ETA. Nah, don't need to show you any of that. Uh, so that was that bit done. It's got uh, all this here, Mac OS X software, system preferences, which is here. It has no right click. I can't right click. The only way I can right click is with a keyboard or a mouse, which I should actually plug in. So then I can close down the app so it'll be a bit less laggy. Let me just find it for you. I've got so much crap in my room. It's, I just, wow. Right, I found it, I found it. It's got, uh, shall I show you the, yeah, I'll show you the port. Right. So if I go over here, here's the uh, ports. It's got a headphone port. Let me just focus in for you. It's got a headphone port, a display port, two USB ports, Firewire connection, Ethernet and phone, and there's like a little lock thing that you put in. Um, that's all you really need to know. The it's got all the things. It's got an FN button, which is quite annoying. Uh, it's got that button, which I guess pr um, replaces the Windows button. It's got the caps lock, like that. It's got tab. It's got all this. I don't know what these weird symbols are. So I'm sure someone could tell me. The, the num lock I only just found out the other day, if I press the num lock, this little light comes on here. Yes, I only just found that out. Uh, yep, here's the mouse. Just one little, no right click. And there's like a little crappy track pack, track pad. It weighs 2.3 kilograms. It's rather heavy, I must say, um, for a laptop. 2.3 kilograms. Is just like OTT for a laptop, I must say. Uh, now I'm going to pl plug in the mouse. Put it over here. So, you can right click with the mouse, you can do all that. Quit that app. Um, Safari, that's all I can really get. If I click this, it'll load. Take me up to the Apple Start page. Uh, so this is basically it. It's got alright web browsing, nothing special. 
It, it's got this little, like, colourful loading thing I don't like. It's got flash player and everything. It's not, not too, two of the bests. It's got a trash icon, it's got all the usuals. Um, so now, what you've probably all been waiting for is how Minecraft runs. So here we go. I'm just going to load Magic Launcher up here. Um, I can't get the original Minecraft because it needs a dot .jar and I've only got Java 5 and because the Mac software is OS X 10.5.8 I can't get any of the new Javas and because it's 32-bit I can't get the 64-bit version and there is no 32-bit um, Java 6. So to um, to launch a dot .jar and let it run, so like Minecraft, Tech It, um, Feed the Beast, I'll need Java 6 which is virtually impossible to get unless I use soy latte and I've tried and I've failed so it just loads up here as you can see I can't do any recording because I can't get any recording software as I said it's outdated it's got all the worlds here that I've got They're quite laggy <laughs> it's in single player if I go into a multiplayer world I've got uh, let me focus in on the max screen further forward for you, like that, focus in, alright, it's very bright isn't it, let's just turn the brightness down, is that any better, mm -hmm. so the, I've got this, um, Skyblock, MC Skyblock, Lewis's server, lostislands.org, is the new server that means look horror of being going on? Oh, snap. Hope you enjoyed my little phone episode there. Right, so uh, I've got to press FN F3. So I'm getting 30 frames per second now, getting some random spikes, and I'm in like a snow world, I think. So if I just go into Factions Worlds, which is the one that me and Robert's been going on. Uh, so here's my gear. I'm getting 16, 14 FPS. This is a little cave that I've got, but I'm not going to go down there because it'll be too dark for you guys. But it's still loading the chunks around my area, so give it time, give it time. I want to show you a little contraption I've got here. If I go over this pressure plate and go down, it will redo it. But, because it's too high, I can jump onto this pressure plate, and it'll load it up. So there's no need for us to click the door at all. I can just go straight up, like that. This is just showing you all of our coordinates, so <laughs> you better not come and kill us. I'll we'll have to kill you. We haven't got much stuff, so it'd be pretty pointless if you are coming to kill us. So now let's disconnect from that, um, go into multiplayer or multiplayer. Let's go into Skyblock. <coughs> Wait, is this it? No. Skygrid. I'll show you Skygrid. It's um, just the usual. It doesn't lag that much. Just wait for all the chunks to load. This is my Skygrid. FNF3 again. Um, I'm getting... 22 FPS, 20 FPS on Skygrid, which I must say it was better than my old computer. The FPS that I'm getting on Skygrid, but I don't think my old computer liked Skygrid. But I was recording at the time. Got never portal, got all that. So I'll show you my settings I've got. It's all um, minimized, everything. So got a bit of a sponge, got a bit of a nest here, little house. Uh, credit to Bioconstruction, he built all this. Our villagers and all of our mobs have gone, sadly enough. So, um, got Lewis there. Not Lewis Westerman, or Hammy Pones, as you may know. Which is a friend, Lewis. So, yeah, so that's your Minecraft experience. So, we'll go into single player, and we'll go into. 
Yeah, sorry about that. My phone ran out of memory. Uh, so let's go back into four FPS, four pillar survival. Uh, just show you the run, how it's how it is. Don't want to like take too long anymore, in case it runs out again. It shouldn't. Do. I've got three point three gig available now. Just delete a shed ton of games. I had four folders just like rammed of games. So don't know why it's taking so long now. There we go. So here we go. If I click F N three, we are getting twenty five frames per second, twenty one, twenty. 25, 23, so we're getting about an average of 23 frames per second right there. I just threw my pickaxe on the floor, and I don't know where it's gone, and that's a valuable asset to my survival. Fantastic, James. Fantastic. So I'm just going to save and quit, but I'm never probably going to go on that again. Um, so yeah, that's it about the Minecraft experience. I uh, don't think there's much to show you, apart from this is a feature that I kind of like about this. When you close the lid, it goes into like hibernation, and as you can see, that light there, it shall turn off. Yeah, there you go, and then this light lights up to show that it's hibernating. And people say, "Yeah, but a Windows can do that." Yes, maybe a Windows computer can do that, but. It won't load up straight away like this. And that's the only thing good about a Mac. That's what I'm saying. Let me just turn my right so. so that's the only thing good. Is that. <laughs> so that's basically it. It's got the time. It's got all the normal things that you'd have. It's okay in speed. It's got iTunes. The Finder. That's a bit weird. Just like a uh, start menu, I guess. You go through all your things like that. Find is pretty crap on um, OS X 10.5. But just like this bit's just normal. You know, like, whatever. So, yeah. That's just about it for today. Um, this is how we're going to Minecraft. So, I I've hoped you've enjoyed this video. Uh, this has been a review on my crappy Mac. Um, so yeah, thank you very much. Like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to share. All right. Right. Uh, um, in the next video, I'm gonna do an announcement on something important. All right. So I'm gonna I'll be announcing that soon. <laughs> so hope you've enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to share if you wanna. Um, so send a bit. Bye.